Howdy YouTube, it's your boy Hugo Strange, you're getting ready to watch uh, No Ordinary Family. I forgot it was coming on today, so if YouTube hadn't reminded me, I wouldn't be able to watch it um, right now. So, I'm going to watch it and review it, and I will see you on the other side. Peace. When was the last time we did something together as a family? You text, you work, and you stare at the television. We are going to take a sunset tour of the rainforest. Hold on! On Tuesday, September 28th, one family will go from ordinary... You're telepathic. ...to extraordinary. <clears throat> you two are freaky. ABC's No Ordinary Family premieres Tuesday, September 28th on ABC. Okay, so I just got finished watching No Ordinary Family. Um, not bad, you know? I mean, it's, um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I mean, it's definitely uh, one of those, um, it kind of feels like The Incredibles. Um, like if The Incredibles had an origin story, it would be this. A um, couple of things I can't stand about it. Uh, the teenage daughter character, they really need to stop resorting to cliches when it comes to teenagers because that really pisses me off. It, it just felt like her character just dragged the whole thing down whenever she was on screen. Um, Michael Chiklis is really bringing um, is bringing his game in this show. Um, I definitely, like I said, he's completely believable on screen. Like I said, this is a guy, he's, he's just coming from Vic Mackey. So to come from Vic Mackey and then just be this kind of like lame father guy, just top notch there for uh, Michael Chiklis. Um, Julie Benz, uh, she just feels like she's just kind of going through the motions. I'm just like, I don't know, I just have yet to engage her character yet. I just don't feel her yet. I feel her on Dexter, but that's only because she's perfect on Dexter. Like, they play off each other, but here it just seems like Michael Chiklis is just stomping her completely, and, um, yeah. Um, the villain's angle, I was, I was okay, so the producers really did think about that, and we had another villains show up and we had a um, and we have a connection as to where the villains are coming from so that's good I like that that's kudos on the producers part for you know finally addressing that element in the first episode because that was going to be um, something that I really really was worried about about this show um, overall um, like I said it's gonna be a pretty fun show um, the only thing I can't stand is the teenagers on the character, I mean on the show, if they do something about them, it'll be a great show. Um, so far, like I said, it's not going to be something I'll follow religiously, but I mean, if I got a few hours uh, free, I'll definitely turn it on, I'll definitely check it out. So yeah, that is my review, um, let me know what you think, leave your comments below, make a response video, whatever, I'm out, peace, see you on the cape.